Now from the Columbia Basin, your local news source, this is iFiber One News, presented in high definition. The number one source for real-time local news, local sports headlines, and our very own Weather Center forecast covering the entire Columbia Basin. With your iFiber One News team, reporting news in real time as it's happening. From the iFiber Communications HD broadcast studio in Ephrata, Washington, this is iFiber One News, and it starts now. Welcome to iFiber One News. I'm Cody Johnson reporting news from around the Columbia Basin for Thursday, July 25th. Tonight we have a report on charges filed on a Connell man for a double homicide in Othello and how the Soap Lake Chamber of Commerce is rescheduling their auction. We also look at a few reasons to be part of the Moses Lake Manta Ray swim team and how an infant was rescued from a hot car. And Sports Mariners' eight-game win streak came to an end yesterday, and the Seahawks may be without the services of one of their explosive playmakers. Our spotlight story tonight is about a pair of Quincy firefighters that share something more than a national award. And we've got the latest weather forecast for the Columbia Basin from the iFiber One Weather Center. Our top story tonight, a 31-year-old Connell man was charged for a double homicide that occurred near Othello. Francisco A. Rizzo is facing two counts of murder in the second degree in Adams County Superior Court, and his bail was set at $3 million. Rizzo is accused of shooting two men in an orchard near Othello because one of the victims had yelled at Rizzo's nephew. After work, the victims and Rizzo's nephew began drinking and talking about work. During the discussion, a victim yelled at the nephew and insulted him. The nephew went to Rizzo and told him what had happened. Officers claim Rizzo shot the two men as they were sitting in a truck. Investigators found the truck was still running and the driver had one foot on the accelerator and one on the brake pedal. The other victim was still holding the door handle. The Soap Lake Chamber of Commerce auction that was planned for this weekend has been rescheduled for October. Chamber Vice President Kat Sanderson said the auction was postponed to give chamber members time to regroup following a full early summer season of activities. It also gives people more time to donate items to the auction. Sanderson said they're looking for donations including art, services, trips, wine or other items that can be sold to support the chamber's mission of promoting the city and its events. The Soap Lake Chamber of Commerce is also looking for volunteers willing to help out during the auction and other upcoming activities. The date for the October auction will be released later this summer. And for more information, you can call Kat Sanderson at 509-246-1821. There are more reasons to go swimming than just to beat the heat. Reporter Spencer Graham and Cameron Probert went to the Moses Lake Manor Rays to find out more. To really beat the summer heat in Grant County, swimming might be your best option. But for the kids competing in the Sizzlin' Summer Swim Meet at the Moses Lake Family Aquatic Center, swimming means more than having fun on a hot summer day. The swim meet took place July 19th through the 21st and welcomed 21 teams from all over the region and from outside the state. There was even a Canadian team that competed in the multiple trials. But what is truly interesting about these events is the dedication and hard work put in by the young participants. Anna Fair is 13 years old and has been competing at this particular swim meet since she was six. I think it's a lot of fun. I meet new people from other cities and the meets are a lot of fun too. Fair is a dedicated swimmer and spends a lot of her free time in the pool, even during the off-season months. Uh, in the summers, I do two hours in the morning and an hour and a half in the afternoon. And that's Monday through Friday. Juggling school and training is never an easy task, but Fair somehow makes time for both. Sometimes I have to get out of practice early, but I try and finish my homework in class. She plans on participating in the upcoming state meet and is making plans on what to do to get ready. Well, we've been working hard throughout the summer, and then the week before A-Champs, we take it a little easier, so then our muscles get relaxed. Swim meets of this size are not common in Moses Lake, 
Usually swimming competitions take place at the high school, but for such a large turnout, the city allows the use of the Family Aquatic Center to accommodate the high number of competitors. Well, it's our only home meet of the summer. You know, we have a one or two in the winter, but at the high school, but this is our big meet of the year. This is our biggest meet we can host. Because the high school pool is not very big. I mean, there's not enough room in there to house 400 swimmers, so we can't do one of these big meets like that up at the high school. On hot days like these, precautions have to be made to prevent any heat-related issues that could affect the swimmers' performances. You have to stay really hydrated and drink lots of water and just make sure you're out of the heat. To these hard-working kids, swimming is a big part of their life, and even though this was an invitational event open to the public, most of them treated it like any other high-stakes competition. Swimming is like another life for me, and my other life is like taking care of my family and helping others. More people should do swimming. For iFiber One News, this is Spencer Graham reporting with Cameron Probert. Sounds like a great way to spend your summer. Fans of Twang are tuning their banjos for Five Sons Bluegrass Festival starting tomorrow and running through Saturday at Moses Lake's McCosh Park. Musical acts taking the stage at the Centennial Amphitheater for the free festival include Kevin Pace and the early edition, Top String, North Country, and the Boxcars. A barbecue takes place on Saturday offering hamburgers, hot dogs, roasted corn on the cob, and soda. A festival includes four free instrument workshops designed for both beginner and intermediate players. The workshop runs from 11 a.m. to noon and includes lessons for bluegrass guitar, mandolin, fiddle, and guitar. Anyone can bring their instruments and be registered and register to participate in the Five Sons Bluegrass Festival Pavilion Tent. The festival begins on Friday with an open mic at 4 p.m and runs until a band jam at 10 p.m. Tunes resume on Saturday at 3 with free workshops for musicians, ending with another band jam at 10. Each of the people you see here have warrants for their arrest and are wanted by various law enforcement agencies. If you see any of these people, the DOC asks that you not attempt to detain or apprehend them, but to call police. You can also call the Department of Corrections at 509-764-6180 during the day or 509-762-1160 after 5 p.m. Stay tuned. We'll be right back after these messages with the latest from the iFiber One Weather Center. And we've got sports and more news on the way.